about 150,000 people were rendered homeless when Delhi government bulldozers moved in the illegal colonies situated at the banks of Yamuna. Shamim was wasting his life in the lanes of Bhavana. Soon after birth, he was struck with polio, forcing him to lead a life of a cripple. The misery of slum life needs no elaboration and Shamim had to face it with odds against him. The widespread poverty, unhygienic surroundings and narrow lanes are enough to suffocate even a normal person. No wonder Shamim became a load on his parents. As we know, the incident of fire engulfing the slums are not unheard of. Shamim had to spend many days and nights in the open sky with his parents on regular intervals. But Luck and smile on you all of a sudden. Shamim met someone special. Robin Rainer walked into Shamim's life straight from across seven seas. Robin Rainer Foundation filled him with faith that he too can lead a life of a normal child. Soon, the foundation gave him enough self-confidence whereby he began to weave dreams of a bright future for himself. Shamim and his parents have been provided with a roof by the Robin Rhinus Foundation Plum Housing Project. Now Shamim plans his future sitting cozily in his new house and so are his friends. I will work in the study of the study. I want to become a big officer and I want to become a big officer and I want Having been acknowledged as a genius in the field of business worldwide, NRI Robin Rainer stepped into India in the year 2003. In the scorching heat of June, when he was trying to give shape to his business in his office in Noida, he saw something that changed him for good. I came to India and I walked up to the top floor of one of my buildings and I was looking back absent-mindedly and I saw these slums at the back and I started thinking of myself, I was very sad when I came down. The reason I was sad was not because I had never seen slums, I was sad because I had been to this building so many times and I had not ever noticed these slums and I realized that I, I wasn't able to see today. I saw what I only wanted to see and that was a very changing moment in my life. I realized I had to do something different and that's where the foundation was born. 
think of Bollywood movies Swadesh for a moment. How Shah Rukh Khan, an NRI scientist, got shock of his life after seeing the plight of people back home in India. He plans to shift his residency to India and put his might to change the situation. He had to leave behind great job and equally exciting lifestyle. Shah Rukh might have done it in film, but Robin Reiner did so in real life. In the slums surrounding his office, Robin got terribly upset by observing the abject poverty, unadulterated filth, dirt-laden sewage and rotten plastic bags stuck in them, he began to wonder about the quality of life people were leading. Robin Reiner felt that what he had seen of life so far was nothing but some kind of an illusion. Truth is indeed very different. Disturbed deeply that he was, he decided to have the sole mission of getting these poor realize their dreams in this very lifetime. He wanted to give them a childhood which is full of laughter and thrill. He began to work on his noble project right there and took this downtrodden segment of society in his stride. When we came in a few years back into these slums, we started realizing that the core problem that we need to address is education. And if we can impart education to the kids here, we can at least make sure that they have a better future. Soon enough, we realized that it's not as simple. If we want to impart education, we will need to make sure these kids stay in this area because slum dwellers are like nomads. They move around looking for livelihood wherever they get their livelihood. So the kids would move out of the school pretty soon. We decided to address the problem of the slums of Awana at multi-level. We decided we'll provide education, we'll provide health care, we'll provide housing, and we'll try to provide training to the women of the society, build self-help group, provide them legal knowledge, and so on. Shamim is not the lone child whose life took turn for better. There are thousands of such children in whose life Robin has infused hope and dream. Twenty year old Dahina is one such girl, daughter of a Hindu father and Muslim mother. Caught in abject poverty. Dohina's father worked as security guard and her mother worked in a factory. Being a Muslim, Dohina had to live in Vail, though she liked music and dance a lot. On a fateful day, a counsellor of RR Foundation spotted Tuhina in Bhavana. Convincing her parents, the counsellor introduced education in Tuhina's life which led to gradual